Hello Aquarius, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you guys are new. This reading is for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Aquarius, I'll be doing a reading today that's going to look into your past energies, your current energies, and what's coming towards you guys in the near future between you and your person of interest. Now keep in mind, Aquarius, this is a general reading, so not everything that comes out that I see or pick up on in today's reading will resonate with each and every single one of you. In the case your energy comes through strongly and I pick up on that, we can take a look and see how this energy applies to you specifically given the situation you're finding yourself in or who you're connecting with at this time, how they think, how they feel about you, the energy surrounding you to the likelihood of you two moving forward in the future, what your spirit team wants you to know, your spirit advice and messages from the universe that can be found in the description box below this video i have a lover special which you can use for 33 dollars and 33 cents if you guys want to take advantage of my special that i have okay aquarius we're going to start your reading off by looking at what your challenges are for the next two weeks uh, look and see what the challenges are facing you facing your person of interest or the connection itself now, I do want to mention here before getting started, you did have a few jumpers, okay? I had the refusal to see card jump out with renewal, okay? So, it did have a very strong energy come through of here, somebody wanting to reconcile with you, or you do with somebody, and this whole reading right now revolves around a reconciliation. Those of you who are not interested in a reconciliation, that's absolutely fine. I just can't control what comes out, but you may get a little bit more details about the person who you're interested in or who's coming in for you in terms of love throughout this reading, okay? So just take what resonates for you as I am going to be looking at past present and future energy. So this could be somebody again who you haven't even met yet. Others of you that have really strong energy to somebody coming back. Okay. The energies right now surrounding you and this person. <clears throat> Let's take a look. What are the challenges right now affecting my Aquarians, the person of interest or the connection itself? And what don't you see coming in, Aquarius? What don't you see coming in for you? Okay, a lot. Okay. So you know something. Crown chakra. Okay. So your intuition right now is on point about somebody. Okay. This whole thing right now is your intuition. You have intuitive feelings, intuitive nudges about somebody. Okay. What well, your challenges here are, okay, rest and reconsider. So I feel like you've been struggling with this. Aquarius, you may be trying to find some time alone to figure out what it is that you want. Do you actually want this to move forward? How do you see it moving forward? <clears throat> and I do see you're taking yourself self out of this picture right now. Maybe you're not trying or maybe you're not trying as hard. Maybe you're not trying to reach out to them anymore. Maybe you kind of backed off. Okay. Now the challenge here with the nine... Of swords right here. I do see here, even though some of you, even if you are not in communications with this person or maybe not communicating with them as much as you used to, there are still heavy energies here you two being, you two thinking of each other, but I'm kind of getting a more withdrawn energy. Like they're doing their own thing, you're doing your own thing. You might not even be anywhere near their vicinity or in their environment. Okay, and I do see somebody here who's just wanting time alone. Even when they go out, they'd rather just, you know, go do things. I just, there's 
solo right now, okay? Taking hikes, you know, um, finding a place to just really sit and think about things. Okay. And what's coming for you guys that you're not seeing right here is clarity. But you need to put in that dedicated effort into this and embrace what's coming for you. What's coming to you. Let's clarify some of this and we'll take a look into your past, your present, and your future energies. And we'll get more information about this person you're connecting with. Wow, okay. Your commitment is being tested right now as your challenge. Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus. Some of you, it's a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm also getting Sagittarius. And you need to see the whole picture, the bigger picture. Zoning into the minute details right now is really throwing your intuitive radar off, is what I'm getting. Like what, when they said this, why they said that, or if you're looking through a specific text, or when they didn't respond at so-and-so time, I don't know why I'm kind of getting that. But you need to zoom out a little bit. And look at the bigger picture of this. What have they done overall? What have they said from beginning to end? What is coming up for the two of you now that you guys are more independent or now that things have settled? I feel like I'm picking up someone's energy here. Whether you or them, one of you guys may be divorced in the middle of a separation. Or someone here was... Maybe have children from a previous relationship here. It's like, take a step back here. How does this all fit in? Because I feel like you two are a very solid match. But your challenge here is your, your commitment to this is being tested. Because remember, I saw that withdrawn energy from you. If it's not you, it's your person. Somebody here is thinking this is too good to be true. This is too complicated. It may not work. I mean, because of this one small thing or because of what they said, but not why they said it, it's really throwing somebody off. And it's really resetting this whole thing. And somebody here just wishes, like, I wish you would take a further look at why I said it, not how I said it or what I said. Okay, let's take a look and see um, what happened in the past here for Aquarius. Okay. So we have the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Swords in the past. So, this was such a weird feeling, Aquarius. I'm getting your energy right here. Queen of Swords, you could be dealing with another air sign, Aquarius, lead by Gemini. But I feel like this is all you. I am getting here like you may have known each other through work, mutual friends, maybe somebody here close to them or close to you introduced you two to each other in the beginning. That's just a move, sister. That's something that I'm picking up for some of you. Definitely not all of you. And this could be like a uh, work relationship too. Others of you may have, you guys may have a medical background. Okay. <clears throat> you guys may phone each other up for advices on treatments. Or somebody here may have actually used, you know, the excuse of work just to see each other, just to have a conversation, to talk about business, when it was really just to see you, just to hang out with you. Okay. I feel like you guys got really well acquainted with each other. And this is through many years, too. I'm really seeing you guys may have known each other for eight plus years, eight plus months. But whatever this happened, I feel like you guys may have decided to go your own separate ways. The Ten of Swords coming out with the Eight of Swords. I don't feel like this is what you or them wanted. But it brought so much pain, this confusion. 
It's like somebody here was also too focused on their work and they didn't really have that much time available to put efforts into this connection. But it's so interesting here, but everything that they were saying here was maybe about somebody from their past or you were. So somebody here didn't feel like somebody was ready. It felt like somebody here was not over yet. You when you two met, there was this like, you know, they could tell either they could tell that you were dealing with something that you weren't quite over yet, or you could tell they were dealing with something they weren't quite over yet. And you guys may have become friends. Let's take a look and see what's going on in the present moment. Okay, so we have the hanged man, the king of cups. I do have Scorpio. Strong scorpionic energy, Cancer, Pisces, and the Five of Wands. <clears throat> so, why now you don't know what to do about this? How to move this forward? Because someone may have said something, and I feel like someone here felt like they were. Okay, that is very interesting here with the King of Cups and the Five of Wands. I really do see this as your person right now. They're like, I have to, a lot to have to take care of right now. So you're, remember your commitment is being tested. Commitment to this person, commitment to stay in it. Do you really want a reconciliation with them? Because right now they have a lot going on at this time, and it's you or them. It's like they can't, they, they don't have the, they're not available for the kind of relationship. I feel like that was in the past. I mean, the way you're seeing this situation right now is like, maybe they're not interested in me. But the funny thing is they are, okay? I do see here that the two of you have been intimate with each other, with one another. But maybe this is what one of you is thinking, is that all there is? Others of you, maybe you haven't yet. Let's kind of start off as a rebound situation, then you guys became good friends, and now somebody here has feelings in deep feelings here. But the thing is, the challenge right now is you versus them, this other person that I'm really picking up. It could be you trying to figure out who you want. But I feel like you really have, I mean, the way they feel about you right now, the energies in here, I really see like the two of you actually becoming something like marriage. I feel marriage coming up. Look at the bigger picture, remember? You right now may not believe that this person actually cares about you, loves you, or has any feelings for you more than whatever. Um, because the way this started out, you guys started off as trying to be each other's support system. Kind of came to each other to help each other heal. Like they had like a good heart, or they had a good, they had good intentions coming into this. Like they were trying to. <clears throat> you know, make you feel better. They kind of gave their shoulder to you, cry on you, gave theirs, yours, and you guys were very supportive of each other, trying to help each other heal in some way. But then as the two of you became closer, it became very evident here that you two make a really good match on a romantic level. Now, but somebody here came between the two of you. This could have been a nagging ex. This could have been them picking up this weird feeling that you may not be over somebody, or you, or them not being completely over somebody. I'm seeing here a third party situation. And now maybe the fact that they are still in communications with them, or they're confused right now, is making you confused here if you want to continue being a friend something more, 
or just leave it as it is. Okay, what's coming towards you guys in the near future? We have the Nine of Wands, we have the Empress, and we have the World. Wow, did I say marriage, you guys? Okay, some of you I'm also getting here, you maybe have a child with them. I see Empress. Okay, wow, this is a little bit graphic, but see that, guys? I see Empress and the baby coming out. Some of you, I do see in the future you want a child with them. Look at the bigger picture. This situation right now is more than just you two. There's some things that have to go and like work out in the background. We'll clarify some of this, but I don't want to make you really too long. But there's clarity coming to you or your person about, yeah, what this thing is. Challenge your commitment. Your commitment is being tested. Some of you, Aquarius, you have a choice right now. It's not you, it's your person, remember? Do I want to stay married even though I'm in love with somebody else? Do I want to stay in this relationship even though I feel like this other person is my soulmate? I need to really think about what it is I'm throwing away here, walking away from. Is it really truly worth it? If it's not you, it's this type of person that's only for some of you. Let's clarify this energy here. Look at that. What just came out? The two cups. I don't know what it is I'm reading here, Aquarius, but... Yeah, um, you can't help what you feel when you have nine cups to wish fulfillment at the bottom of the deck. I see the two of you coming. I see a new relationship here. Okay. <clears throat> And they really have to put their mind to it. Dedicated effort. Look at these two that he's painting right now in the mural in the background. He's like, I, I, you know, this is this is who I'm meant to be with. But then there's somebody else in the picture here. Okay. It could be a Virgo. Somebody here doesn't want to see something. They've been trying hard to see. Maybe they're like, if I don't see it, if I cover my eyes, if I pretend like it's not there, if I place some distance between this person, then, you know, it's like out of sight, out of mind. But that's not the situation here. <clears throat> it's not the situation here. Let's take a look. Let's clarify a little bit of your person. So we have the Knight of Wands coming out twice. This is... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I do see somebody coming in who really wants to talk to you. This could be a fire sign. This could be an earth sign. I am getting so many to all of this reading. We have the two of cups. Now we have the lovers. These are two people who just cannot stay apart. These two people deep down, down to their bones, and that they're made for each other. And your commitment right now is being tested. You need to look at the bigger picture here and embrace what's coming. If it's not to you, it's your person. There's something about this connection. There's clarity coming to them that, yeah, this is unlike any other relationship. You know, the heart wants what the heart wants. How about that this five of wands here? I feel like this is somebody wanting to reconcile with you, but at this time, they don't know how to. Okay, it's like they're kind of hanging there in suspense. But the two of you separated in the past. The two of you kind of got off to a wrong start. You know, I'm kind of seeing here, like, there was just a little bit of, and then this is the energy here that's kind of, this is the problem right here. I can clearly see this is what started the problem. Let's clarify a little bit of this. This could have been what was said. And we have Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. I do see here somebody. Uh, checking in on your social media. I do see you coming back together with this person. I actually do see here you're going to have a child with them. The world and the empress. Wow, that's definitely you two coming together. <laughs> I totally told you. Totally. Okay, yep. That's what happened in the past. Both of you guys wanted out of the situation. Like, uh-uh. 
a bit about. I don't need this right now. Okay, I don't need this in the middle. Okay, but here we have what's coming towards you guys in the near future. We have the world, we have the sun, and the sun, two people coming back together. Aquarius, wow, what a reading. If you guys want a personal reading, go ahead and reach out. I don't want to go into the specifics. If you know this was you, you know this was you. We can look into what your own situation is with this person, who you're connecting with, how they think, how they feel about you. And I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. I loved your reading. I hope this video helped you guys. Um, but I see here, um, don't give up on this person. I don't think in your heart you have let them go, and they haven't let you go either. You guys are kind of like one. You guys are kind of like one. I'm seeing two people. This could be a soulmate twin plane. You've never felt a relationship like this before. This was unlike anything, the weirdest thing also that's ever really happened between you both. You were not ready for this. They were not ready for this. I'm really getting twin plane vibes. Okay, somebody here didn't want to see what was really coming. And you weren't prepared for how much that they were going to feel about this. Someone also feels like they got stepped on. Okay, like taken advantage of or wasn't appreciated. Just there's a little bit of um work here. I feel like, you know, because these kind of relationships, soul soulmate twin flame relationships, they you you're not the same person after them, you know, you grow, you evolve. You become a better version of yourself and you work on some things that they mirror back to you and it's intense. It's really intense. There's some things that you wouldn't have recognized if this person hadn't come along. And your commitment right now to this is being tested right now. Remember this. Okay. All right, Aquarius, I hope this reading made more sense to you guys than it did for me. I'm going to go ahead and end your video here. Thank you guys so much for your time. Reach out with me, a personal reading. I love to do one of you. I feel like I'm reading for twin flame here. Okay. If not, I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. If not, in your personal reading. And I'll see you later. Bye.